what's the mindset uh, heading into Washington for you guys, uh, you know, knowing that there's not playoffs on the line, but knowing this locker room the way that you do, what do you think it'll be like for you guys? We have a job to do, and we intend on doing it. So we're going to put our best foot forward, and um, it's going to be a good game against Washington. David, I mean, last, you know, when we talked to you the last few weeks, you've always been, you know, we're not done yet, we're not done yet. So, personally, how do you kind of process the fact that, from a playoff perspective, um, they're out of the equation? Obviously, it's tough, you know. But at the same time, like I just said, we also still have a job to do. So, we intend to do it. We're going to, you know, give it all we got. Some of this has been about, you know, Deshaun Watson coming along week by week. What have you seen in him that, that you know, a lot of progress and a lot of growth for sure and just this past like couple of weeks that he's been with us um yeah no I'm, I'm really excited you know for the f future obviously it's tough right now you know uh but it is what it is so we're gonna move forward you're real open after the game just you know saying you let the team down mm -hmm. not catching that last ball so like what have the last couple of days was that tough for you um, you know, dealing with that? You know, obviously, but um, it's just one of, one of those things, man. We got to just keep keep going. We got to move forward. Uh, I, I own up to that completely. I think that, you know, it is my fault completely. And it is what it is. So I got to move on. I got to, you know, show, got to lead by example and, you know, uh, work hard in practice, you know, and give it all in the game and just keep pushing. What do you hope to uh, accomplish in these last two games, both from an individual standpoint and then collectively as an offensive unit? You know, this is going to show how much people, how much we, how, how bad do we want to win, no matter, you know, even though we're, we're out of the playoffs and everything, and how much we just love the game of fo football, you know what I mean? Uh, playing for your pride, play, playing for your brothers, you know, giving it all you got for them, you know, even though, you know, we're not going to advance, so. In falling short of the playoffs, what what would you say sums up your emotions about it? Are you frustrated, disappointed, angry? And how do you feel about it? All the above. Coach, yeah. All the above. You know, um, going into every year, you always have high hopes, high you know goals, and when you don't reach them, it's it's upsetting. You know, especially when you know you uh, you work so hard. You know, you work. You you see like your teammates working really hard and everything, and to not get there is, is tough, but like I said, just his life, you know, it is what it is. We got to keep going. What did it mean to you to make the Pro Bowl as an alternate, and what would it mean to you if you get added to the game? Um, I'm blessed, you know, no matter what. Obviously, I wanted to leave no doubt, you know, but with injuries and everything, it's, it's tough. But uh, nevertheless, here I am, you know. Hopefully, I get I, I get there. If not, you know, I got to work harder next year. That's just how my mindset is. I understand if you don't want to say anything publicly, but in in your mind, do you kind of have an idea of maybe why you guys weren't able to put it together collectively as a team? And is that something that you're you're ready to kind of use uh, as a learning experience for next year? We're gonna think about all that after the season, you know. But right now, we got a job to do. That's to beat the commanders. Debbie, you're one of the more senior guys in this in this in this locker room. For a lot of the younger guys, are you how important is it for you to kind of set the tone for especially over these last two weeks, you know, where there are no playoffs, but there are there is still a lot individually and personally for people to play. Oh for sure, for sure. Like I said, um, this is a, a big test to see who loves this game as much as they say they, they do, number one. Number two I know me, and I know you know the tight end group. We're gonna give it our all. I know the whole team will. You know what I'm saying? I have no doubt that we're gonna put our best foot forward and give the commanders hell. You know what I'm saying? It's just it it, it it's tough because you have that thought in the back of your head, like damn, like we we could have done this or we should have done that, but we got no one to blame but ourselves. You know what I'm saying? And that's just it is what it is. You know, no one put us in this position but us. You know, so we got to get back to work, pick up the pieces, and finish it strong. Washington seems like they're a pretty pesky, feisty team. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, people tend to, you know, write them off this year, yet here they are hanging around. When you watch that defense, what 
what makes them so I see great things places. I see great things they're, they're they're front forward first of all is very dominant you know they uh, they take great pride in that as well so we got our hands full we're gonna have fun he's a beast he's a beast he uh, he has it all you know speed power uh, everything like you know he's just he's a, a, a dominant player so we have to really you know give it to him do you believe you have the people in this room and in this building um, to get where you want to go next year without having to change a lot of things absolutely absolutely you know obviously you know um, we're gonna reflect after the season but there's a, a, a bunch of games that you know we could have sat back and said we could have done this that or third that you know led us to where we are so you know it's football, man. You know, things happen. It is what it is. And it's up to us to get the job done. And we didn't. So we have to pick up the pieces. First off, finish this strong, pick up the pieces, and get back to work. So it's all about the work. It seems like you don't give you guys a pass, even though Deshaun was suspended for the first 11 games. And from hearing you talk, it seems like you believe that you guys really should still be going. I don't make excuses. Mm -hmm. I don't make excuses. You know, we, we could have said anything, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, we did not do the job. So that's what it is. That's what we have to move, move on from. I know you're not ready to reflect just yet, but can you maybe look back at some of those, those games and moments heading into these last two and kind of try to get the most out of the season in that, in that kind of way? I'm just focused on the commanders right now. So after this season, I'll, I'll, I'll reflect, you know, through all that, you know, reflecting and, uh, and get back to. A lot of people were worried about you after the game because of the shirt, like hoping you were okay. Like, Come out okay, feeling good. <laughs> the answer to your question is I'm, I'm not sick. I feel great. Yeah. How long did it take you to thaw, thaw out and be able to feel your extremities again? I'm fine, dog. <laughs> I'm cool. You'll be hot in Washington. It's supposed to be in the 50s. Yeah, it's going to be a fun game.